I'm gonna show you how to create this overlay in OBS from scratch, literally from a brand new OBS install. On top of that, we're gonna create this without using any complicated, expensive software like Photoshop. It's actually pretty funny. Someone actually asked me how long I've been using Photoshop and I was like, Pfft. This is actually my own design that I'm currently using for my intermission scene. And I really like it. I really like minimal clean designs for your stream because it allows you to convey as much information as you need without it distracting your viewers from what's really important, which should be your game and you. And just so you know, I have no experience in art. I'm not a professional designer. I don't know how Photoshop works. I haven't taken up art since my senior year of high school when my art teacher crushed my hopes and dreams. I'm guessing most of you are in the same position as I am, except for the crushing your hopes and dreams part. I hope that's never happened to you. But I assure you, you'll see by the end of this video just how easy it is to create a professional, minimal, clean design for your stream. This video is brought to you by Nobody. Well, I do have merch, so I guess go buy my merch. What's up guys, this is Nighty. Before we dive right in, let's do a quick overview of what exactly we're gonna be making. So here's the overlay again. We got a nice big camera, which by the way, I recommend every streamer has a scene like this. And in the bottom right corner, we've got a shrunk down window of the game that we're playing. And this would be a scene that I'd recommend you use, like let's say you're queuing up for a game of Apex you'd switch to this full webcam view and that will just allow you to interact with your audience and give them a more intimate experience. You might notice that my camera looks like it's super wide, but it's really just a 16 by nine camera with the top and bottom cropped off. We'll talk about that in a second. And if you pay attention to the background, you'll still see the camera, but it's got this nice blurry effect to it that makes it look like it's got this glassy thing going on. Around the perimeter of the camera, we've got these two lines that have a two-tone gradient to it and the border actually animates in a circle. Then in the top, two corners we got a little widget that shows some metrics so our sub count follower count and viewer count and on the other side we've got another widget which shows my local time i thought this was kind of cool to add because i don't really see this in a lot of people's streams but for me personally because i live in australia and i know that my time zone is really different to most people that are watching my stream I thought it was just neat to have my time there so people know that it's nighttime and not like eight in the morning. And then finally, the one thing everybody keeps asking me about, underneath my camera, I've got this horizontal scrolling chat widget. I know some people don't really see the point of displaying Twitch chat on stream. For me personally, as a viewer, when I type a message in chat, I just like knowing that the streamer has received my message because then I know if they're ignoring me or not, which seems to be the case most of the time. Like. Why don't people like me, man? But I understand that showing chat messages on screen can create some unnecessary visual clutter, which is why I like this sideways chat because it allows you to still show the chat messages on stream, but it's nice and low profile and doesn't get in the way of much. All right, so we're like three minutes into the video, so let's actually start doing stuff. We're gonna start off by creating the border for our webcam. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you know that I've already done a video on how to create these animated borders, but that video requires using HitFilm Express and I did say at the start of this video that we wouldn't be using any complicated software so that would be cheating we're not gonna be doing that someone in my discord he goes by Theo Wu the Owu I don't know he saw my video and then he just thought to himself let's just make Nutty's video completely obsolete so instead of going through the whole process of creating these animated WebM files he just created a website that allows you to customize your animated border in like five seconds. If you go to the link in the description box down below, you'll see the website for the border generator where you can change things like the width, the height, how thick the borders are, the colors. You can even make a circle if you want, if you don't want to use a rectangle. For me, I chose two colors that match the lighting in my camera. So I chose a purple and blue border. Then I adjusted the width and the height and the border thickness to my liking. Now I know it looks like we're creating a rectangle and we really only need two bars, but don't worry, we're gonna crop this off later. After that, click get URL and then copy that generated link into OBS as a browser source. Just make sure to add some extra Extra width and height to the browser source because it seems like there's a lot of blank space around the border. After that, you can crop the browser source by holding down the Alt key and then dragging in from the sides. Position it as close to the center of your canvas as possible. You can actually right click the browser source, go to transform, and then click center to screen, and you're pretty much done. All right, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you guys next time. 
Wait, that was the first step. We're not even halfway done. Okay, next step, we're going to start adding in our main sources. So we're going to start by adding in our webcam. I assume you guys already know how to add a webcam. Just right click, add a video capture device. Then we can do the same thing that we did with our camera border. Hold down the Alt key, then drag from the top and the bottom until it fits within the camera border. And then if you want, you can also add in your game source and then lay it on top of the camera and just shrink it and put it in the corner. You can also create another rectangular camera border for your game window. It's the exact same process as the first one. Just generate a new border with a different width and height and then create a new browser source. Exactly the same thing. So how do we get the blurry camera for the top and bottom in the background? We're going to be doing that using an OBS plugin called StreamFX. Now I'm going to assume that you guys already know what stream effects is because I've talked about it in like four different videos at this point. But in case you don't know, click the I thing to see the other videos that I've already done on it. Actually, I probably should have mentioned at the start of this video that this is only going to work with OBS Studio. So if you're using Streamlabs OBS, then I'm sorry, Steven, but you need to get with it. We don't use Streamlabs OBS on this channel. What we want to do is apply a blur filter to our camera, but we don't want to apply it to our original camera because well, you guys want to see your face, right? So first we're going to create a source mirror of our camera. So that way we can apply filters to it without affecting our original camera source. Right click on the source mirror, go to filters. Then we're going to add two filters. The first one is going to be a color correction filter. And we're going to turn the brightness all the way down. And then we're also going to turn the contrast down a little bit. Basically, we just want to create a little bit of a separation between our main webcam and our background by making the background darker. And then the second filter is, of course, going to be the blur filter, which you're only going to see if you've installed the StreamFX plugin properly. So if you don't see it there then make sure you've done that okay so on to the fun stuff we're going to be adding three widgets to our overlay we're going to be adding a metrics widget a local time widget and then finally the horizontal sideways chat widget all of these are stream elements widgets so if you're not already using stream elements then just go to the website and then sign in with your Twitch account. I believe these work for Twitch and Mixer. I don't think they all work for YouTube. If it doesn't, I'll let you know. We're going to start off with the metrics widget. So this widget shows your followers, subs, and viewer count. Now, if you don't know how Stream Elements works, you can create a blank new overlay. And then inside of that overlay, you can start adding a whole bunch of things. Two of the metrics that we need are already included in Stream Elements, and that would be our all-time total follower count and our all-time total subscriber count. But the one metric that you're not going to find in this list is your viewer count. Now, I wish that Stream Elements would add this to the list, but... Well, where the hell is it, man? I want that. Add that for us. Luckily, one of the dudes in the Discord, his name is Mr. Boost. And by the way, you're going to be hearing his name a lot. He created a view count widget. So if you go into the link in the description box, you can just click it. It will automatically install the widget as its own separate overlay to your Stream Elements account. Now, I wish it wouldn't create a brand new overlay. And instead, it was like a widget that you can install into one of your existing overlays. But... Apparently that's not how Stream Elements works, so that's cool, I guess. Anyway, once you've installed Mr. Boost's viewer count overlay, you can change the font to whatever you like. The list of fonts will be any one of the normal Google fonts. But if there's like a custom font that you have installed on your PC, then you can go into the settings and write some custom CSS to change the font to whatever you want. I'm using a font called, ow, I just bit my tongue. I'm using a font called Unisans Caps. I'll leave a link to it if you guys want it. But other than that, you can start adding labels for your total follow count and total subscriber count. Then just position them on your overlays. And if you have any custom icons you want to use for each of these metrics, then add these in as images as well. This is what the final result looks like for my widget. Once you're happy with it, click this link to copy the URL, add it as a browser source in OBS, then just position the widget somewhere on your canvas where you think it looks nice. Next up is the clock widget, which is installed exactly the same way as the viewer count widget. Just click the link in the description box. Now, again, this is going to create a brand new overlay in your stream elements account. Like I said, I really wish you could just add the widget to the overlay that we already have. I mean, you can do it, but it takes a long time and I don't really feel like explaining it. It's like 2 a.m., man. I just want to eat pizza and fall asleep. Once you have it installed, you can change the date format. So if you want to show a 12 hour or 24 hour time, if you want to show just the date or just the time. By default, Mr. Boost has actually set up the date format just exactly how I like it specifically. Like 
What a dude, man. I didn't even ask him for that. Really, the only change I'm going to make to this is I'm going to change the font to Uni Sans caps like we did with the last widget. But yeah, that's the clock widget. I just copy the URL, create a new browser source, and then position it on the canvas how I like. And finally, the widget that you guys have been waiting for is the sideways chat widget. This one is another creation by Mr. Boost, who's like, if you guys don't know Mr. Boost now, this guy's like the Mr. Beast of stream elements widgets. Again, there will be another link in the description box. It's going to install yet another overlay to your stream elements account. This widget only works on Twitch and Mixer. I'm pretty sure it doesn't work on YouTube and Facebook, unfortunately. One of the reasons I like streaming on Twitch, by the way, everyone just develops for Twitch. With this widget, you can, of course, change the font, but you could also change the color of usernames. So if you want to show your normal Twitch username colors, you can show that. Or if you want to set it to a custom color, you can choose that too. You can also write a list of usernames that you'd like to ignore. So maybe you don't want bot messages appearing on the chat. Or maybe there's just like a particular person that you don't like, you know? Like Steven. God, I hate that guy. Anyway, fuck yeah. Steven. Once you're happy with it, copy the URL, add another browser source, then put it into OBS again, and just position your chat underneath your camera and there you go you have your own customized stream overlay that just happens to look exactly the same as mine yeah good job man good job in the plagiarism so here is our final product now of course if you really want to in fact i would encourage it you can take some creative liberties and change things to make them fit your own aesthetic and your own branding and your own design. I just thought I'd show off my design because a lot of people were asking the same questions about how I set up different elements in my overlay. So you can stop asking me now, Steven. Man, we're just really railing on Steven today. But that's going to do it for this video. Guys, as always, links to the Discord in the description. I don't know how to speak today. In the description box down below you guys can also follow me in my twitch stream i stream four nights a week and guys just please watch me like i'm begging you i'm very lonely all right i'll see you guys next week